there are new TIPO memetics coming down, um, and I think those will be of interest as well. Okay, so I have heard of avitramopag. Um, Dr. McCray, what's your, um, what's your experience or knowledge about that compound? Uh, I think that's an interesting uh, agent. It's like l -tromopag. it's an oral agent. I think it's, it's structurally related. Um, but the, the biggest difference between AVA and l is that, uh, well, l -tromopag is affected by diet mm -hmm. um, and, and, and must be taken separately from food. AVA -tromopag is not. Okay. Um, there is a small uh, abstract at this meeting that suggests there is uh, efficacy in ITP. It's a small uh, study. Um, but it clearly shows efficacy, um, and uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a, an, an interesting agent moving forward, um, uh, and and certainly may have a place in ITP treatment. Yeah. The other thing I like about this drug is they have not yet seen the hepatotoxicity ah. that was seen that is seen Can be with l yeah. And yeah. you know, I usually don't want to use l if the patient has any liver disease. Yeah. And so avitrombopeg may be a little bit yeah. better in that circumstance. That's, that's great. And then I, there's a Bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Um, I, uh, I don't know, does it have a name? It's PRN1008. One, one zero one zero 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 yeah. Um, and, and that has not yet, as far as I know, um, really been used in ITP. I okay. think that those data are just starting. Um, it's theoretically, it, it seems like it should work. Um, the, um, where it has been used, actually there's some phenomenal results in dog pemphigus. <laughs> and uh, I saw the pictures, I mean it's amazing to see these dogs come in just looking absolutely horrible and complete recovery. Yeah. But it, again, it's also probably going to be a drug that's going to have to be taken continuously. Okay. It's not going to be something that's yeah. going to be the well, magic similar bullet. to the way that you use it in CLL. Exactly. And, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's not surprising that it would work, I don't right. think, for the same reason that it works in CLL. Yeah. And I, I think that's when people started recognizing that perhaps this is a good way to go because we saw in CLL patients who had cy cytopenias that were felt to be immune, yeah. autoimmune, were recovering. Right, I see, yeah. I see, yeah. I see, yeah. Um, Dr. McCray, any other interesting compounds, new drugs that are being tested? Well, there's a, an abstract at ASH here about this ros rosanolixizumab. Okay. Works, rosanolixizumab. I'm, I'm glad you said it and not me. <laughs> <laughs> which is an inhibitor of the neonatal FC receptor, oh. which is uh, an interesting FC receptor which is on endothelial cells and basically uh, degrades immune complexes and recycles and protects IgG. So okay. basically what this does, what I look at it as, it's essentially like getting a plasma exchange by getting an injection. Huh. And it lowers your IgG levels, including your autoantibody levels. So, uh, so there, there's a small study uh, with that um, here. Uh, there's, there's, there's several companies I know developing these types of drugs for various things. Hmm. Um, Including pemphigus, um, yeah. and uh, so that would be also a temporary response, then similar to IVIG, or does it not induce well, that kind of? Well, it's hard to say. It's yeah. hard to say. It certainly you would think of it as a something that would need continuous uh, treatment, but on the other hand, it's it's hard to know over yeah. time what yeah. will happen. Well, we'll look for more data from yeah. that, and then I also uh, believe there's an abstract here at Ash about low dose decitabine. Yeah, that's a, a, an interesting abstract, and, and basically uh, it looks at the effects of low-dose decitabine on uh, various uh, regulatory subsets of B cells and T cells, and, uh, and states that, that this was given to some patients with ITP, but we don't have any reports on the platelet count. Uh -huh. So uh, I think that, that measuring immune cells is an interesting biomarker if it correlates with a response in ITP. But measuring the biomarkers without the ITP response, it's hard to say much about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, any other uh, new compounds, new data, or, or just general final thoughts about the management of this interesting disease? You know, I think for me, um, one of the things, we're all looking for the magic bullet, obviously. I think what we're looking for is that right target. Yeah. Um, and to understand better the mechanism of the disease. Yeah. Um, in I, different patients, because different it's probably patients, not one size fits all. We don't all. think this is one disease. And, you know, some of us believe that all ITP is secondary ITP. Yeah. And you just have to 
you know, find what that might be. But I, th I think we really need to start to understand the disease a lot better mm. um, so that we can maybe start choosing the right, right. patient for the right drug, right. which is really what we don't know. Yeah. Um, which is why I sit down with patients and I say, here's everything I have, let's yeah. talk about it. Um, because right now I think it's more, um, what do you prefer as opposed to what's gonna work specifically for you? Yeah, 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 oh, I hope we get there, yeah. absolutely. Um, and how about you, Dr. McCray, final thoughts? You know, I really loved what you said earlier about how maybe the right approach is to treat ITP like a malignancy since your best outcomes are, you know, seen with upfront therapy. Yeah, well, I, I agree with uh, what Dr. Gernsheimer said. I, you know, we use this uh, term more and more personalized medicine, but, but in many cases, uh, it's still somewhat of a, of a concept uh, without much reality. But, but more and more cases, we, we, diseases, we are seeing it applied. So clearly, ITP is, I think, a heterogeneous disease, and, uh, and we need to, to find biomarkers and gene expression profiles and things to put patients into categories yeah. and, and decide what really is the best way to treat them. Yeah. But we've made a tremendous amount of progress over the last 10 years. Yeah, clearly, clearly. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to thank you both so much. Uh, it's been very informative for me. And uh, thank you on behalf of our panel and myself. We thank you for joining us in this peer exchange discussion.